ladies and gentlemen, Brock the best here. <sighs> yes, it's me. It's really me. I'm back, baby. Sorry for the shortage of videos. If you guys, like, I'm really telling you guys right now that I, I had, I had been uploading or at least trying to get videos out to you guys. I really had, but, like, I'm trying this new thing. It's kind of like stop motion, except instead of stopping the video, I just keep on pausing it. And sometimes, like, I either misclick and then I press the exit button so then the video isn't completed. Or I just, like, it just ends up not working. So, I'm really sorry about that. But I'm here now. And I've got some new figs. Yes, yes. You guys already saw the beginning of the video with with the package of one new fix that I got, but that isn't the only new fig, Thor. You're, you're staring at him right now. Hint, it's another Chris. Look at him. He's the newest one. Just got him today. I got him on sale off of Amazon. I ordered him a uh, Sunday. There he is. Peter Quill, baby. Dancing. Tiptoeing. Tip it toe into that good Guardian music. It actually came with his Walkman. Yeah. It's not focusing. But this is actually a really good fig. I actually really like him a lot. Then again, I said that about the Iron Man, but I really don't think I'll end up putting this guy down. But this isn't the only new fig, guys. No, no. I got plenty of other new figs. As a matter of fact, I think I got, like... Uh, Seven new figs, including this one. So I've gotten seven new figs ever since the last time that we met. Three of which are heroes, but I mean, like, sure, I know that I've been telling you guys that, yeah, I want more villains, but you know what? I realize that I'm not going to spend $20 on some Marvel heroes that I don't want, at least not right now. I'm on some Marvel Legends that I don't want, at least not right now. Look at his gun. Ah, oh, that's so sick. I know that this is kind of an old fig, but... Still. It's awesome. Woo! I gushed so hard when I got this, guys. He's gonna make a good addition to this self. But, let me bring down the new fig. Alright, you guys ready? You guys ready to see all the newbies? Here we go. This is how I avoid copyright. But yeah, these are the new these are the new guys. Oh, look at this. Alright, so these are the oldest of the new guys that you guys haven't seen so far. I got this like all the way back in like August. But I got this for 40 because I priced match it from Target. This these guys have actually been in a lot of videos and pictures that I haven't uploaded that you guys haven't seen. The last video of mine that you guys have ever seen is the tenth anniversary one, so Sorry about that. And I still have Ronin and Red Skull. They're upstairs. But really, for the 10th anniversary line, I think that I'm not going to collect anymore. Like, the Thanos 3-pack is a maybe. The Hulkbuster, if they, if I don't end up seeing them creating another Hulkbuster in the future, like, if they don't create an Infinity War Hulkbuster, then I'll definitely get the Hulkbuster 2-pack. It's just that it was on sale... But I ended up passing on it, and I got the Iron Man, because I didn't have the money at the time. But then the next weekend, I had the money, and then the sale stopped. So I was just like, oh, those jerks. Look at that Ant-Man. I got him uh, last week. For 20. Apparently, he was rare. He was, like, kind of rare. But then I got him last week for 20, and then, like, all of a sudden, I start seeing him everywhere. 
So it's kind of like one of those things you look for him and then he's not there. But then you finally get your hands on him and then you see him everywhere. Falcon and Bucky 2-pack. I, I think I told you guys that I wouldn't end up getting this. I don't... I think I did. But then I saw it in the flesh like for the second time. And this actually ended up being on my list because this is when I came to the realization that I didn't want too many villains. Like, I can just get villains as they come along. Plus, I'm gonna, like, I saw the Killmonger one, and I was gonna go for the Killmonger one, but then I was just, my dad was just like, B, these things are $40, so choose the one that you really want. So, I ended up choosing Falcon and Bucky, and I ended up loving them. I took Bucky into Golden Corral, and I post Falcon, and I just love having these figs. Great addition to my MCU collection. All right, guys, hold on. All right, guys, sorry about that, but, you know, there was just somebody at the door. So, yeah, so I ended up getting them. Anyways, channel update. New videos are going to be out soon. It's a lot of them covering these figs. Not really figure reviews, but, I mean, like, they're kind of going to be figure reviews. Like, just stating my opinion, my thoughts about them, and then talking about their movies and what legends I'm going to get in the future. But I just wanted to do this to get back to you guys, to let you guys know that I'm not dead. Brock the best is fine. And he's going to be getting to you guys again. Oh, gosh. But I feel like one of you guys is going to ask. So, if I was to choose my favorite out of all of these... Oh, God. I usually always like the new fig the most. I really like Iron Man. I love how he has the flaps at the back. But what really ended up screwing me with this figure was his shoulder flaps. First of all, for mine, I got mine kind of like a little bit of a beat up box. So these shoulder flaps not didn't help. Like they just kept on falling off. So I ended up using glue to attach to them. But then the left one kept on falling off. Can you see these slots right here? Left one kept on falling off, so I just got so ticked, and I was just like, you know what? It kind of looks the same without the shoulder flaps. I mean, like, sure, the figure looks a little bit incomplete, but hey. But then I ended up losing the left one after my, uh, after my sis, after, um, the table was, no. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me pause the video. There. So, sorry, I just knocked Star Lord over, but yeah. Um, so those ended up falling off, and I ended up losing the other one. I think that somebody swept them, and then they put them into the trash, the left one. So I'm just left with this one, and it looks awkward with only one on. So now, I just have the Iron Man without the shoulder flaps, which still looks okay. You could still pose him, and nobody would notice that the shoulder flaps are gone. So yeah, I love that. I love the flaps at the back. It's just the shoulder flaps that ended up making me not like this figure. But I love him. He's amazing. Uh, get to the store with last of the Bucky and Falcon 2-pack. Absolutely love these figs. Love that Bucky. I love that gun, man. I realized how much I needed accessories for my legends. And I gotta say, Bucky looks amazing with this gun. They gave him another gun, like this sort of alien-looking gun. Um, but I ended up putting that with Thor's brother over there. I gave Loki that alien gun so that, like, so that it would, like, kind of look like the gun that he used in Ragnarok, except it's not the same one at all. It's just that this is the actual gun that Bucky used in the movie. You wouldn't see, it, this, this gun was meant for Sam, but you wouldn't see Sam using that gun, so, yeah. This weekend I had a chance to get the Killmonger, but then I was just like, you know what, I don't, I don't want, I'm not going to die if I don't have this. Because there's a second wave coming out, and there's also the two-pack. So, I feel like if I ever muster enough money, and if the two-pack ever goes on sale, then I'll probably get the two-pack. But I love these two figs. These two figs are amazing. Ant-Man, we'll get to you in a second. Let me talk about this. these guys right here. Captain America and Crossbones. Oh, Captain America and Crossbones 2-pack. Oh, gosh. I've had fun playing with this Captain America. I've had fun putting his shield on so many other different characters. The Iron Man looks great with it. 
Um, uh, Bucky, I mean, Bucky looks great with it. Sam looks great with it. I've had fun with that shield. The fig, I've also had fun with too. I love his second head. It looks amazing, such and such. Crossbones, I, I've had a lot of fun with him too. And I don't have any butts. It's just that he's so detailed of a fig that I think I kind of sometimes feel shame playing with him. The way that I usually do. Like I was doing this one battle between Crossbones and then Captain America and then Sam and Bucky joined in. That was just when I got the Bucky and Crossbones 2-pack. I mean Bucky and, uh, and Bucky and Falcon 2-pack. So I had ended up playing with them, just my packs. And I realized that I felt bad kind of throwing this uh, 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 Crossbones figure around. But, you know what? I still liked playing with it. I still love it. It's really fun. It's really nice to pose him with Cap. So I love him. It's nice to put him next to Red Skull, too. And that gun, that doesn't come off. Or else I don't think that it comes off. Yeah, it doesn't come off. Iron Man, I already talked about you. Ant-Man. Alright, Ant-Man. Love this guy. Love this guy. It's actually a really fun fake. Very, very, very fun fake. Had lots of fun posing him. He's just a fun guy, you know? Just, just a fun guy. Yeah. Amazing. Ant-Man and Falcon. Tic-Tac. Tic Tac, we got the Tic Tac, we got Tony, we got Steve, we got Rumlow, we got Quill, why did you ruin Infinity War? I'll get to you last. We got Bucky, and we, yeah, it's pretty much it. Thor over there. Don't worry, you're cool too. But yeah, I love him. I love the paint apps on this fig, and it's really nice. I had some scratching right here on mine. But, what can he do? But I really like it. I really like posing him. I mean, I know that this is movie accurate and all, but I don't like this gap right here. You guys see this gap on his uh, thing? I don't like that right there. I know that it's movie accurate and all, but I realize most of the time when I pose him, I mostly pose him with the with the, um, the chest bent forward. Like that. I realize I do a lot of poses with him leaning forward because, I don't know, I just... I kind of don't like the gap in between there. I think it looks better like this. But that looks weird. It kind of looks like he has back problems, so... Yeah. But, now... Actually, if you guys didn't realize, you were kind of paused for like three minutes because Peter had... not um, I mean, uh, Chris had knocked over, and then he hit Chris. But this Chris is back here. He's just chilling. Just watching the show. But now let's go to you, Chris. I mean, Peter. <coughs> I mean, it's Star Lord. <coughs> now, this is my newest figure, so usually my opinions on the newest figure may always seem a little biased, at least until I get a new figure. But really, I don't know why I ended up liking this figure a lot more. But I, I did. I, I did. I just... I I fell in love. I, I'm I'm already fell. I've already fell in love with him. Did I just say fell in love with him? I've already fallen in love with him. Just everything from the gun holders to just the face sculpt. It looks. I saw one on clearance, but it was from the Titan. Sorry that my camera hates to focus, but I saw one on clearance at GameStop a while ago, and I ended up looking for him afterwards, but he was gone. But it was one. It was the one from the Titus build a figure wave. But then I ended up finding that one on Amazon, and it, I didn't like the look. I mean, I don't know. I just didn't like the look. But so, but then this one came on sale, and I he was on sale for about two weeks, and I didn't pull the trigger on him because there were just other fakes that I wanted. But then when I realized, hey, there's not really any figs on retail that I want right now that I can really afford. So I ended up buying him, and I love him. I just, I love him. Even for the fact that I got him for kind of a steal. I mean, like, when he came into the package, when he came into my home in that package, I just gushed so hard, man. 
All right, I thought that I had toned my phone off. Okay, thank God. Okay, so I had just gushed so hard. So I really like this fig. I really do. And I like all the poses that you can get him into. Now, yes, I love this fig. My first Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 fig. So, you know, yeah, amazing. So we got Civil War. We got the first Avengers. We got Guardians of the Galaxy. We got Ammon and the Wasp. We got Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Infinity War. And we got Star Wars The Force Awakens. did but <clears throat> so yeah i love these figs so let's take one little more shot from the behind there they are beautiful so there we are the man avengers and the guardians of the galaxy minus crossbones dun 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 Sorry, Black Widow and Scarlet Witch. I mean, Black Widow's upstairs, but Scarlet Witch, sorry. Thor, sorry, but these are just the new ones. These are the new guys. So, yeah. I'm loving these guys, man. All right. Well, guys, that cuts the video. I'm, I'm going to cut the video there. Sorry that the video is kind of long, but I'm going to cut it there, and I'll, there will be new videos out soon. All right, guys. Barack the Best is back, and Barack the Best out.